Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you very much for joining me today. So it's a bank holiday weekend here and we have some lovely special offers over at Craft Stash. They have their stretch and save which is one of my favourites and today I would like to share with you guys a video that is no longer available on Craft World. Um, I've had a couple of requests to have this tutorial back available so I thought the best way to do it would be to pop it on to um, my channel here and therefore it, it can't disappear. Um, so it's for this particular album this is using three dies but if you have the large album die you can make this album and this one here was made during one of my lives I'm just talking about this one because it matches this one um, you can find this one in the live section on my channel but for this one this one was the videos uh, that went missing so it's in a couple of parts but in this video I have put everything together so it's all in one place the only thing is the Alice, in the Alice in Teal papers are now sold out but you can recreate this album with other Alice papers that are available from other um, craft companies or if you have any other um, paper collection that you have in mind I know the Scandi Dreams would look really nice with this as well so I show you step by step on how I put this together now this one was actually from 2021 and I've had quite a few more mini album die releases since then so I'll just quickly go through this one and these are all pockets as well at the top there these are all pocket pages so you can pop more things in there but I have other releases that you can add to this album we have the magic eye die set now all of the tutorials on these are available on my channel and again this is all included in the stretch and save so the more you build up the more you save and um, yeah you can make a great saving if there's spe specific dies that you haven't got and you want to get so this one is the large photo frame flip now this one opens up and you have these here that you can turn this whole frame into a pocket as well as the lift up frame which is really really quite interactive we also have some new stamps here this is an A5 stamp here and we have the place photo here now this sold out and we now have it back in stock and we also have the um, adhesive free photo mats as well so the photos just tuck into these little slots there so it's really handy especially if you have pockets and things like this you can just cut your mat out and then pop in your photos and then we also have the elegant pocket and flap die set now there's so many more um, like these are just uh, five that I or four that I've just uh, popped out of my shelving so these are my favorites I think so this is the elegant pocket and flap die set we have here um, some lovely trellis dies there and the scalloped edges or the ornate tops as well for those pockets so they're all gonna go really well with these albums now as I said everything has now been popped into one place so it will still have the part one and part two but it'll all be in one long video and if you really want the Alice and Teal papers back do let Craft, Craft Stash know don't let me know because um, I don't think they'll be keeping an eye on the comments here but if you want these back get on to Craft Stash on their customer services um, and on their um, social media as well if you really want the Alice and Teals back that would be really really awesome because then I can make a medium version because I have the medium album as well okay so that's enough for me waffling on I hope you really enjoy the rest of the bank holiday weekend if you are here in the UK so the offer will carry on until tomorrow which is Monday the 29th that's when it will end so you still have today and tomorrow to take part in this offer and getting all of your goodies with some discounts and that's not including the VIP as well so right let's move on to the video I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you again soon Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So we're going to be making this beautiful Alice in Wonderland mini album today using my landscape album dies and the landscape editions. So that is the main page die there from the landscape album and we're going to be using this in portrait because we're using the large binding. So it does do all of the score lines for you, makes it really easy. So you just need to fold those over and then we're moving over to the additions for the other part of the page. You can cut this out manually but I'm going to be using the die here so as you can see this is an absolute bumper pack of dies it's it is literally bursting at the seams in that paper envelope okay so you need to die cut eight of those and from the previous pages that you're cutting out you need eight of those as well that is going to be enough for the pages and the outside covers 
So there you go, it is exactly the right size. So I'm going to be running that through my Gemini. So you are going to be needing an A4 die cutting machine for this set. Okay, so that's run through. So I need to do that eight times. And then we can start construction of the pages. So I'm using Cosmic Shimmer here. It dries clear, so don't let that name um, mislead you. Um, so I'm just going to add my glue just all over there, but it did clog up. So let's speed this up. I keep a paper clip just handy so I can pop that in and that should clear the blockage. Usually it does. So get those onto the tabs. You can use red tape if you want to, but just for quickness and um, <clears throat> maneuverability, I like to use the glue. Okay, so line everything up and then pop that down and then give it a really good press with your bone folder. And later on in the video, the lighting will improve. I do promise you that. Okay, so now you should have a page with two openings, one at the top and one at the bottom. So the long side is going to be attached to our binding and I'll be showing you exactly how to get that attached. So just make sure that everything is pressed down really nicely and that all your glue is dry and ready to go. So here is the large ultimate binding and I'm about to show you how many pieces you need to cut out. So you do have a larger section and two smaller sections and also a spine with all of those lines. We're gonna be using all of those dies today. So of that larger one there that I'm putting down, you'll need to be cutting out one of those. And the slimmer one, you're gonna be needing to cut out three of those and I'll be showing you how to cut those down to size. Okay, so you can see all those dashes there those are sizes, those are dashes so you can size them down to my other mini albums that I have in the range. So I'm just cutting that down to, I believe it's nine, could be nine and a half. I'm going to put something up here to tell you the exact measurement and it will be in the blog post as well. My head's in the way there. So we're just going across those lines there and then I'm going to get my scissors out and then just cut up those dashes just like that, super duper easy. And now that is sized for the page that we're going to be using today. Okay, so I'm just checking there that they are all the same size. If they are slightly out and you've cut them a little bit off, we can correct that a little later on. So now, because this does all of the score lines for you, you can just fold them and then move on. Again, your bone folder here is going to be your best friend for this. Okay, so they're all done. So now we're ready to glue those in. So I'm starting with the first one, adding glue all down the center and I'm positioning that perfectly in the center. And then I'm in this, with the second one, I'm gonna add that to the right hand side. Again, making sure there's space, an identical amount of space either side and press that down. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same with this one on the other side. And those dashes that are remaining, those are going to be hidden so they don't have to go in any particular order. Okay, so I'm cleaning up the top now. Okay, moving on to the spine. I have some uh, texture roll from Sizzix. This is the gold color. I absolutely love this one. And the piece that I have there, that has been through the washing machine. So it's not so shiny, but it's absolutely perfect for what I want to use it for. And yes, it is a bit shorter because it doesn't matter it's the right length for my binding so now I'm just going to run that through the die cutting machine now this is like a faux leather 
um, it's called a texture roll but if you ever used a craft text it's just like that with a gold coating on the top so you can wash it you can sew it you can die cut it and it's super strong it's like basically a faux leather so I'm gonna run that through and that is what is going to make a really lovely looking spine so there you go it's die cut really well and I am going to trim that down to the length of my album. So it does have some main score lines here, either side of those um, big flaps. So you again, use your bone folder and get that pressed down nicely. And then I do have um, a paper trimmer there that does cut through thick material but if your paper trimmer won't do that it probably won't unless you have a special guillotine one you can just use a craft knife and I did cut that at nine inches okay so now for the proper construction of this so we're going to be working with the back cover and this is just a dry run that is how it's going to go on so we're going to add glue to the front and back of that last piece of binding there. You, again, you can use red tape for this too. If you're new to this, I would stick with the glue first because you do have a little bit of wiggle room to get it just in the right place. So slide that on, go right up to the, um, the score line there and then just double check front and back before you give it a proper press down. Okay, turn that upside down and then do the same. So double check what the opening of your pocket is and add the glue again. Okay, so slide that on. You can use your grid mat if you want to make sure that it goes on straight. Just check everything before you give that a really good pressing and there we go there is our front and back cover and now if you want to you can glue those um, pockets closed now for the pages I have six pages left and this is the binding I'm just going to exercise that and press it down just to help it move backwards and forwards just to give us some really good movement of the pages once they're on there so I'm starting with the next back, um, back binding and I'm laying that on flat going up to the score line and then I'm lining it up with the absolute back page top and bottom and once I'm happy I'm giving that a good press down and then you just need to repeat that for all the other pages so we're going to be making a hard cover now for the um, the front and the back covers so I have some gray uh, gray board here it's one millimeter thick and the measurements for this will be on the blog post so there'll be a measurement guide there too so I'm just pressing that down and then I'm using my craft knife just to cut that out I don't do it perfectly so I'm gonna clean that up afterwards again with my little craft knife and with um, I just get my scissors out because it's a lot easier some long bladed scissors would be perfect for this Okay, so I'm just checking the orientation of my album because those hearts are going in a direction so I want my pockets to be opening at the top and not at the bottom. We, never, we don't want upside down albums at this point. So I'm just going to be using my red tape, um, no I'm not, I'm going to be switching over to my big tape now. I love this big tape. So I have here an acrylic block it doesn't have rounded edges it has like a, like not not sharp corners but right proper right angled corners and that is perfect for tearing that tape so i'm doing a full coverage on here because i don't really want this coming off at all so let's take off all the backing I give it a really good press with your bone folder that's going to press it right into the fibers of the gray board so remove all of that backing and then i'm just going to add a tiny bit of glue just to that bare patch there carefully line everything up starting with the corner again making sure it's the right way round so line it up in the corner 
and then give that a good press down. Again, if you're not comfortable using the tape, use glue. Okay, so now it's time to get the spine on now. So I absolutely love this bit. It really comes together. So add your red tape. Again, you can use glue, but go right up to that score line. That is going to be a weak point if there's no adhesive at, in that section. Um, that is where it's naturally going to want to lift away when you open and close your album. So you really want to make sure there's good um, adhesion there. So I moved over to the thinner tape just to get that coverage. Again, press it down. Always press your tape down. It just pushes it right into the fibres gets rid of the air bubbles and it does make it easier to lift off the back as well so with that outside corner I'm lining that up with the score line on the top and then doing exactly the same on the bottom and then I can just press that down and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side And now I'm going to grab my bone folder in a minute just to give that a really good pressing. But as you can see, that book is really coming together nicely. I just noticed an air bubble there, so I'm going to lift it up and put my hand underneath just to support it and then give that a really good burnish. Hi everyone, it's Helen here and welcome to part two. We are going to be decorating this Alice in Wonderland album. So I have lots of pages die cut out already. You do get a die that will cut out your page mats for these pages and um, I'll be bringing out the die set a little bit later on but I will be showing you in the walkthrough of the album in a separate video. So make sure you've watched that one. So I'm deciding which um, patterns I'm going to be using for, for the inside covers so I'm keeping those both the same so I'm getting those down first just in case I accidentally use them I've done that before so I'm getting those glued down first and now I'm going to just I'm just deciding where all the other colors are going to go you can match them up and have them exactly the same if you want to but I'm going to alternate them um, I have a mixture here of the darker colours and the lighter colours. So I've put all of the dies onto some magnetic sheets there and I've just picked out the ornate corner pocket. So you get the pocket that does the score lines for you and you also get the mat for it as well. So I'm going to get that down just as a quick dry run. So add your glue or your red tape to the pocket flaps. So I've folded those over and burnished them really well with my bone folder and I'm just going to pop those uh, pop that pocket down I do have another one of these pockets that I have die cut that I'm, I'm going to add that to another page Okay, so now the mat is ready to be put on. So I'm, I'm just using my glue again for this one. It's a lot easier, especially around all of those, um, those shaped lines. Okay, so I do have another one of these pockets here. This is a, a straight flat pocket, so I'm going to be popping that down on the bottom. You can also have this on its side if you wish, just to have like a sideways pocket too. Now there are so many dies, as you would have seen from the bag in part one of what, is, what of all those dies that you get in the die set from the edition. So I'm purely working from the editions in this today. Um, everything that I've used today is listed in the blog post. So this is one of my favorite stamps here. It says place photo here. So this is absolutely perfect if you are giving this away and it's from the album collection stamp set. And there is the die there. I, that, that die, sorry, that stamp lives on that acrylic block. 
So I've created some flaps here using the dies. I've, that's actually a pocket die there. I've cut off one of the flaps and it's created um, a nice open closed flap and I've just added the mats under there with the stitching detail and now I'm moving on to the waterfall. So this one does do um, a leaf uh, pattern underneath so I've trimmed that off I don't feel that that's part of um, the Alice in Wonderland theme so I could just trim that off and then just carry on with it so I've die cut uh, four of these ones does it all for you it does all the measuring there's just absolutely stress-free for this so I'm gonna glue the first one down again red tape you can use red tape if you wish so glue that down and that will be your first one as your starting point so add glue to the next one and then line that up now now test it so make sure they're lined up when they're opened and they're closed and you should be good and because I'm using the glue I can then just maneuver it to the place I need it to go Okay, so we do have some mats here for that waterfall. There are two, so you can use those for cutting out the pattern papers or even your photographs. So here is it, here is the album finished. There is a walkthrough if you want to have a better look at this album and that will be on the blog page. So thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.